I've obtained, and reviewed for that matter, many games on the Xbox Live Arcade service and haven't thought twice about it. However, given the same sort of downloadable content on my DSi, I've just... well, I've never given it a try. Maybe it's because I felt less of a sense of permanence? Never mind that I own two GBA SPs, an original first-gen DS, a DSi XL, and now a 3DS. That's a lot of hardware compared to the 360. But as I browsed around the DSi shop, something caught my eye. The words around it said things like RPG and brick, concepts with which I'm very familiar. But to watch the footage of this monstrosity, the only phrase that came to mind was, What is this? I don't even... This is Alpha Bounce, the DSiWare port of an online Arkanoid-esque phenomenon. And I never thought I'd get to use those words in a sentence, but there they are. The concept is as simple as it was back in Breakout. Bounce the ball at the blocks above. But where Breakout had no real power-ups to speak of, and Arkanoid had less than a dozen, Alpha Bounce boasts an entire alphabet's worth of upgrades, downgrades, and sidegrades. E for expansion and A for attract, those will be familiar to anyone. L for laceration, tearing up any enemy craft trying to impede your progress. Cute. Q for quasar, opening up a Galaxy Man-style black hole in the middle of the field, annihilating any blocks unfortunate to be nearby. Cool, blimey. W for whiskey, making the ball wobble erratically as if it's three sheets to the wind. Now we're getting into the ridiculous, but entertaining. Adding to the madness is a system of upgrades allowing you to customize your paddle, or envelope as it's known in this galaxy, with weapon systems, length extensions, stronger balls, and I'm going to abandon this now before it starts sending me spam emails. You find new equipment by trekking through the cosmos, completing a level full of bricks in order to cross uncharted terrain. There's a narrative behind all of this that involves interstellar mining conglomerates and a penal colony, and apparently the CEO's daughter has been locked up just cuz. This guy sent his own daughter to prison with no trial or jury and is making her mine resources in deep space just cause she's a little bit rebellious? Kids, when your parents are giving you flack, just remember it could be much worse. Let's get to the crux of this experiment, paddle control on the DS. Yeah, I know, there was actually an Arkanoid DS released with a dial attachment that fit into the GBA slot, but that functionality has been depreciated, unfortunately. Yet another reason I'm never getting rid of my first gen DS. That and transferring Pokemon from third gen. In its place, we get a stylus control that feels so natural anyone but anyone will immediately take to it. The soundtrack is a blippy little bit of techno with the occasional hint of 2AO3 instrumentation just so it can give tribute to its roots. I can respect that. More importantly though, it presents itself as a breakout for the new era, with a massive level of replayability in a time when free browser games and $5 downloads are becoming more and more powerful. H is for Hat, which is off to Mad Monkey Studio for bringing Arkanoid into the 166th century. We've long had our astronaut, now we have a reason for having him. 